everyone. My name is Lerato Mujise. Once again, I know when people, I know when people hear Lerato Mujise, they're thinking, what is she going to say? Lerato Mujise is a ball of fun. Lerato Mujise is an academic. Lerato Mujise is a woman that always tries to achieve her level best. Lerato Mujise was raised by her mom. Her dad is late. Lerato Mujise wouldn't be Lerato Mudise because it takes a village to raise a child with the help of my uncles, my grandparents, my aunts, my uncles, and the community at large. I studied import and export at IMM. I'm still studying. I'm doing strategic brand management. I went as far as learning Mandarin. So in my my name is Mandarin is Muya Ai. Watch out Muya Ai. I love life. I always live life to the fullest and I try to stay present. And I like to believe that I'm quite infobetic. You know, I keep in touch with what's happening around the world, current affairs. And most importantly, I've always been in touch and in love with developing the marginalized. Who am I talking about? Kids living with disabilities. And that's just a summary of who Lerato Mudise is, and there's so much more that you're going to learn. So why did I want to get inside the Big Brother house? I went inside the Big Brother house for my voice to be heard. I've always spoken for the less privileged and the marginalized, the people, well, people living with disabilities, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to be in the house. Of course, there were a lot of things that I had to adjust to and be malleable to start behaving in certain manners. So that made me literally change as and when the days go by, change my missions daily. And to adhere to the theme, you know, in a very fun, 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 fun way. Yeah, that's what I want. What do I want to achieve or what did I want to achieve post winning the money? I was clear from the beginning that I would love to open a skills and development center. The reason I want to open a skills and development center is because coming from the township, you, you realize that um, the corners are not decreasing, instead they are increasing in number. Every year when a child finishes matric, they go and join their peers at the corners. They are unemployed. The unemployment rate in South Africa is skyrocketing and they don't have skills to get jobs. So my plan has always been to develop a space where we will have um, skills that will help them acquire jobs or even create jobs themselves. <clears throat> Prior Big Brother, what were you doing? <clears throat> so what was I doing before Big Brother? I have always been with the kids. The kids know me as Miss Robot. And unfortunately, because I was on television, the kids, some kids watched Miss Robot, which really disappointed me, but that's a story for another day. I have quite a number of things that I've been doing with kids. So it all started in 2014, where I used to help kids with their homeworks. And then it moved to me writing kids' stories with the kids. And it all started with literally just a pollution poster with who I call today the roboticals, the younger roboticals. So they used to write kids' books. And we moved from writing kids' books to developing a story, the story which has the characters like your Lanzis, your Zeptacula, your Loose Squid. The story will come out when my animation comes out. The animation that you must anticipate is called The Birth of Robotical Land. And that is just a part of what Robotical does. There's a lot that it does. I can't obviously tell everything. Then there's a part of me called Remy Foundation. This foundation was founded in 2017. I've always been a giver. Uh, I, I'm, I always share. So we decided to start the Powder Girl campaign. From moving to Powder Girl, we started um, getting water for people in my hometown in Senegal when they had a shortage of water. And then we moved from there to having multiple campaigns. The current, ca current two campaigns that I'll be running is the anti-bullying campaign for the kids, with the kids and the parents, as well as an albinism campaign where I would definitely love for people to help me um, with donating sunscreen, hats, umbrellas, lip balm, to of course help with kids that have albinism. Oh, and an optometrist, so that they get glasses. So yes, those are things that I've been doing and I'll continue to still do. I just want to literally penetrate the kids' space 
fully. Like when you think of robotical, when you think of Miss Robot, you must think about, oh, she has this, oh, she has this. Everything must just be um, centered around kids. Mm. Give a synopsis of what to look from from the brand Larate Medice. What to look forward to with brand Larate Medice. I mean, I've been telling short films. I've got two short films that I haven't put out there on YouTube. I'm going to put them out. So definitely continue to produce and try, try to get money to tell more stories. And ultimately, I have a kids TV show. So I'd love to have a kids TV show. I would love to continue telling stories, you know, and who knows, I might just be in front of your TV screens as an actress, as a presenter. I would also, I'd look into that. That is something fun. And that's something I probably, I've always wanted to do as a young kid, but I was demotivated because I was told that I'm too fat to be in front of the TV. But look, man, I've made that happen for myself. So to any young kid that is watching me out there, just know that if you put your mind to it, it'll happen and continue to start. If it doesn't happen, start again, start again. Just start. doesn't matter what you start as long as it adds value to your life. And remember that brand association is very vital. Be with people who add value in your life and people that, um, that inspire you and that you aspire to be like. You know? Yes. Mm. Close off by appreciating the roboticals. All right. In conclusion, or rather in closing, I want to thank Multi Choice. I want to thank Red Pepper Production. I want to thank Big Brother for putting me out there while we have people that understood me, people that misunderstood me. And to everyone who's been behind me, everyone that has been saying things and trying to understand things, to me, Every little thing that was done really means the world to me. I'm hearing a baby in the background. <laughs> Guys, allow me. <laughs> Let me tell you something that used to happen. <laughs> so we'd be sitting and then I'd hear kids in somehow. And then Sadaya would be on some, Slarata, that sound must be something that you, you like. And I'm like, yes. There was somehow I'd always, the universe would always give me that sound of a child in the background, you know. Anyway, moving right along. <laughs> oh my gosh, you just took me back. Thank you, Anissa. Anissa. Yes, as I was saying, I want to open up to the universe that everything that's meant for me, I shall attract. And to production houses, to agencies out there who would love to work with me, I am ready to hit the ground running and work very hard and literally set the mark and take over the world. Like I used to say, every morning I had affirmations that I used to say to myself after taking a shower. And my affirmations were as follows. I'm beautiful, I'm confident, I'm wise, I'm independent, I'm a globe charter, I'm a magnet of money, I am Rato Medice. I'm a world icon. Those are affirmations I used to say every single day to myself. Thank you, South Africa. Thank you to every single one of you guys who has taken their time to watch me, to hear me. Even those who are going to watch this, thank you so much to the Roboticals, to other fan bases, you know, that helped Larato Modise be who she is today. It's only the beginning to an introduction. It's about to get wild. Yes, Rata Mudise. Miss Robots is coming. That's who she is. Robotical. You'll meet all of them. All of them. All of them. All of them. Thank you. Yeah, Lebo, Waki Lebo, home in a hand. When I'm so to Ohi. Go feel like I'll feel. Yes.